Time to take a look at an Armatron I picked up recently at Walmart, and I'm quite glad that I did so. This is an Armatron Pro Sport. It is the variant model is 20 slash 5445, and of course that's going to correspond with the dial configuration and also the color combination of this particular device. Really hard to find. Can't find it on the Armatron website. Can't even find it on the Walmart website, but the label inside the box said a new design. So I don't know if it's a Walmart exclusive or I don't know if it's something that really hasn't been out very long that they haven't added it. But I do see it. If you go to your local Walmart in the Armatron section right next to the Casios, you're most likely going to find this watch here. I originally wasn't going to get it. I'm going to zoom in here. We're going to see if we can't focus in. I originally wasn't going to get it because it didn't have the running second hand, but I'm glad I did. In fact, it was between two, and my wife said, go ahead and get this one here because it looks really cool. A couple of things with the running second hands on the Armatron devices and other ones like that that have both an analog and a digital display. This has, the second hand is going to keep running on those when you set them, and in order to get it exactly lined up with the digital display second hand, it's going to be annoying. And, and every time I see them, the second hand is somewhere else and the actual digital display, is, it, it just throws me, <laughs> throws me off that they're off that much. You could try to get them close, but the fact that they wouldn't be synced up perfectly would annoy me. This, much like a lot of the uh, G-Shocks, does have the automatic time setting. So once you set your main location time, it will crawl the hands very slowly. It looks like it almost isn't doing it. It'll take its sweet time, but it'll eventually get around and set the time automatically for the analog hands on there. It is, it's tough to see, but because of the plastic, the way the configuration, but this a world time. We'll get to the functions in a moment, but overall, it's tough to pick up on Kelly. Well, there you go. You get a nice shot of it. I love the fact that it's translucent plastic. I love translucent colored plastic, but I love this smoky gray translucent plastic on here. It just looks really really clean it's on the bigger side i don't have an exact measurement on it but it feels like 47 millimeters or even larger on that but it's a sport watch it's what you'd expect from something in this like g-shock-esque category but it just looks really good and the translucent it's tough to tell on camera but the translucent smoke gray plastic they call it goes all the way around the bezel and just is through the entire design language of the watch and i think it's just really sharp and really clean and i absolutely love having it you have day and date up here it does have a function for the year so it's going to keep your day and date just fine that's good 100 meters of water resistance on this one chronograph functionality we're going to go through the modes this is just your regular time mode here then you're going to go to stopwatch that does have a timer function which is nice alarm functionality but also world time and proper world time. So it's going to give you the city that you got. I have the Tokyo up there. So it's going to have Tokyo. It's going to keep my local time. And it's going to have the Tokyo time down there. So it is a legitimate. It's not just dual time. It's a legitimate world time where you could go through the cities in the different time zones and get the one that you're looking for. Wearability is nice. I like the fact that I know it would be tough to replace a band on this, but it's nice plastic resin. At least it's soft, it's durable, it's, it's flexible. It does have the thing like the G-Shock protection where it's got the kind of rigid band coming off the bezels here, but it, that doesn't bother me too much. It still wraps nicely around the wrist. I have no issue. There is some loom, but you know it, I've noticed this on a lot of the Casio G-Shocks as well, especially the deep dish ones, because of the fact that it has the analog uh, analog dials as well as the digital face it kind of doesn't give you an electroluminescence or even an amber light to just illuminate the digital portion of the watch they try to go with this hybrid they do a better job than the g-shocks do they at least give it to where i'm not even going to show it in the dark because it'll make it look a lot more legible than it is it, 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 you could see it in the dark you could see the digital but you could also see the analog hands and that kind of is what they're going for and you notice that on these hybrid watches they give you a light that's just kind of an led as opposed to a backlit display so you can kind of get both a little bit of illumination on the hands as well as the digital and it works it works better than those deep dish you know big uh, casios where you don't even see the digital at all you just maybe see a little bit of the hands and mostly just the reflection of the light this one is actually quite nice overall i was impressed i didn't think i would like it as much as i did i put it on i got over the second thing uh, second hand thing quickly and I just love the functions. I love having a world time on there. It's just really neat. I love all the kind of eye candy that they've got here on the upper right-hand corner. 40 bucks at Walmart. 
if you're looking for a sport watch, if you're looking for something to, to kind of a knock around watch, it's got a great look to it. You know, a lot of these you're looking for aesthetics on the sport watch. It's whether the analog hands really speak to you or not is going to make the difference maker. But what I do like is the fact that they do automatically set. There is the year, so it does keep a calendar functionality on here. So you don't have to worry about setting day and date separately and all the rest of it and keep going back and doing that. It does that as the daylight savings time setting, of course, as all the watches. But it does keep the day and date so you don't have to go in on a short day or a 30-day month or anything like that and reset, which is good. It'll keep the year. You have the ability to just go to the year quickly. Just kind of see that. And, of course, go back and forth between your world time and your home locale. Really nice, really durable. I've worn it for a few weeks now. I just really love the feel and the look of it. Every time you look down at it, you're going to look at it and just think just how sharp and clean it looks. It has a great aesthetic. That's going to come down to personal preference. But for my money, you could do a heck of a lot worse. If you've made it this far, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Until next time, have that steelicious day.